Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks so much for popping in. Always lovely to spend time with you. Now today we're going to do another page in our calendar and it's so lovely to see so many of you now putting your pages on and I love the fact that you're joining in with me. It's just wonderful. And whether you're going to start at January like I did or whether you're going to choose your favourite month, maybe your birthday month, doesn't matter. Just get in there create your first page and then honestly you'll just want to create more and more and before you know it we'll have a full calendar I can't wait now as you know I'm taking my inspiration from the little design that Tracy's added at the bottom of the page of each of the months you don't have to do that you can do them seasonal if you want I just think it's nice for me last year my calendar was seasonal but because we've got so many friends and followers followers all over the world and we all have different seasons mind you I've got to say I don't think we've got a summer here in the UK this year so I, I don't think mine will be seasonal anyway it would be very wet and rainy for the most of our summer months um so I think it's nice for me just to not make it sort of seasonal but it's your calendar honestly you go with however you feel um you know it's totally up to you anyway so this is the design I've come up with and as always I like to just make the design almost on a card first a it gives me a chance to practice and see if I'm happy with it but b it just shows you that if you are a card maker scrapbooker if you want to do a journal page the design you know you could still do the design so I'm going to pop that to one side and what I want to do is just show you where my inspiration came from. I'm just going to move my calendar up. So our beautiful Nia is at the base of the calendar page for April. And I may have said March before. I tell you what, I don't know what day it is at the minute, let alone which month I'm doing, especially when <laughs> it's not the month we're in. So anyway, so this is April. So Nia is at the base. So obviously that's why on my finished design look, I went for her I thought it would just be a nice touch again you don't have to that's just the way my head's working and I've already put a little bit of light stencil work in the background and then for me I've just put some copy of paper underneath so I don't go onto the pages under and I've also added a little bit of stencil work at the top and some low tack tape I want a white frame but I also want my stencil work to come in and just me being me I tend to get a piece of copy of paper folded and just pop it over the bottom here especially when I'm leaning on this area I don't want to ruin it or add some marks you know what those black marks are like they appear from nowhere so what we'll do we'll start off and I wanted something for Nia to sit on and we've sat her on mushrooms before and we've got some fabulous mushrooms haven't we we've sat her on the pile of books but I wanted to go for something a bit different so I've gone for the flower divine stamp now I think this is number one there's number one and number two and I think number one's the wider one but there are lots of florals that she will sit well on and and I love that just looking round to see what I can use that that's different so I'm going to come in with my black Versafine Claire ink. And I've just cut the edge of my blocks. I'm just going to clean it with my Inky Binky. And I almost want to be mindful because I want her to sit. So possibly about there. So I hope your week started well. And I hope you had a lovely weekend. It's always nice to have a weekend, isn't it? I mean, I must admit, I work most weekends, certainly Saturdays. So um, I do enjoy having a, a Sunday at home or, or if we've had a workshop away, we tend to go in the little camper van and Eric gets a lovely trip out with us. So there we go. I love that. Now, I do want some more florals, but I'm going to stamp near now. And that's purely because, and sorry I keep leaning across, but with these calendars, I do find there's very little room on my craft table. And you know me, there's very little room on my craft table normally. So, 
and I've just noticed missed a bit of ink in her up on her leg. Now I want to get her sitting so I'm just going to come in and position her feet sort of so she's looking up there. And I'm just going to let that ink soak in. It's a beautiful card. It takes the ink really well. And there we go. She's just looking up. So what I will do is I want to give her a reason to look up. So I'm just going to turn my calendar around. Now, I need to be mindful here. I'm going to put one of my fairy charms, but I've only got low tech tape there. So I'll just grab myself piece of scrap card and I just want to give her that'll be enough there just the fairy charms to be looking up at and again we'll give that a lovely press get rid of that now and then onto the foliage so I'm just going to angle this slightly and we're going to stamp a little bit more foliage now as I say there are lots of different beautiful flowers that you can sit her on or just look through your stash and see if there's something different that you've not used before that you'd like to use now again I'm thinking I'll have one there I think it's always a good idea to look through your stamps and just look for ideas right let's have a look we'll have another one I think just the hint of this one, I think, here. Just coming across there. And then my idea is I've got a smaller one, and this is from the Flower Divine set. And what I'm thinking is with the little gaps, it will be nice to, to bring this one in. So I'm thinking if I put that one there. And again, there's two in the set. And then if I just turn it round, again, just so you can see, if we just pop one nice little space there. And then I need something up here, don't I? So again, what I'll do is I'll just bring this copy of paper around. It's just being mindful all the time to try and eliminate those black marks and just covering up. So I think we'll have one. Right, I don't want it like that. Look, that's too much the same angle. So maybe if we have it come in there. Yeah. Right, so let's turn this round. And then pop that back under there. And I'm just going to give that a, a blot. As you know, first of all, clear, slower drying ink. Now, again, when it comes to colours, if you want to have your colours seasonal. I mean, my calendar is just going to be a magical calendar this, this year. So I'm going to come in with my acetate circle mask and just pop it over near. So you know me, I'm afraid I'm just going to turn it round. And I've gone for two colours today and I'm going to use Mermaid and Confetti. So I'm going to start with Mermaid and I just want Mermaid in this corner. I'm going for my number um, nine brush and I'm thinking if I just pop, I want almost a spotlight rather than a moon. So I'm going to go for that there. Again, ink on my lovely mask and then just round and I'm happily inking over my flowers that's fine and into the corner a right, little bit more but in the lid on the mask and then gradually come out and then just down here and just a nice area here. You can do the sky totally blue if you want. 
I just wanted to add a little bit of, of pink for a little bit of contrast to the design. So I'll just take the moon mask off and give it a bit of a, a wipe. And then turn it round again. And like I say, this is where I end up running out of space. So I'm hoping you can still see. And I'm going to come in now with the confetti. Making sure I don't get my brushes mixed up. And we'll just bring a little bit of confetti in from this corner. And again, I'm starting on the masking tape on the corner and then blend up to this corner. Again, always start in that corner. And just come along. And what's lovely is where obviously your pink and your blue mix, we get those lovely purpley tones. Now, that's enough colour for the minute because what I'm going to do is bring in, in a stencil and this is the flurry stencil. And I'm going to pop my moon mask back on. And then I'm just going to almost add tone on tone. So I'm going to come in with the pink and add some pink stenciling down here. And again, if you're not sure how much ink you've got or what it looks like, just lift your stencil up. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's enough. What about that corner? Touch more in that corner. But then we'll go into the blue. And remember, the blue in the blue ink. And again. And this is just, I just want a nice little bit of interest in the background. I don't want it to be too sort of in your face. But just that nice little bit more there. Nice bit of interest. So let's lift this one up. Yeah, I can add a little bit more down here. So again, and like I say, take your time. Don't rush yet. That's lovely. Happy with that. And what I will do, I'm just going to pop that out of the way. We'll get a spare piece of card. And then just over Eric, who is fast asleep here, we'll give that a spritz. Now, I'm not sure how much ink is on that stencil. But any background we get is a bonus. It, it's free. It's our little extra. So we'll tidy these away. And we'll just have a look. It's worth doing this. It's a great way of cleaning your stencil. But also, it gives you that spare background for if Mr Mojo goes on holiday. But also you can challenge yourself, you know, make your spare background one day and then the following morning, maybe challenge yourself to make yourself something with it. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, now look at that. When that dries, that's lovely and that's just enough. I mean, look, we've got a nice space here. Oh, and I love that here, look where you've just got the edges. When that dries, that is going to be fabulous. Right, we'll file that up there. Dry that and come back in with our design. So I want to add some colour now to the flowers. But I actually love the black and white. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to come in with my silver Wink of Stella. Now obviously these come in lots of different colours now. And um, I'm just amazed. I love using them. But I just find if I use, so I'll start colouring while we talk. If I use the silver, it'll give me that lovely shimmer. But also I'll still get to see, just got to be mindful at resting on this. I still get to see that detail of these beautiful stamps. Just thought if I add too much colour, I don't want to almost obliterate that detail. You know, sometimes when you're colouring, you can do. Now, obviously, I'm being mindful here not to colour the masking tape. Have you ever done that or is that just me? So, again, look, if we just go around here, pick up those beautiful colours. And again, you will take your time.
must admit, I bought myself a lovely red one and a green one of the Wink of Stella ready. I'm thinking they're going to come in for Christmas. Definitely going to have Christmas sorted this year early. It's my big plan. I mean, you know, if you thought of Christmas presents, the calendar would make a lovely Christmas present. And how lovely to actually create it for somebody. I mean, the pages you could make specific for the actual person you're making it for. Now, if I bring this up to show you, can you see? Obviously, you can still see all that detail. But as it dries, you'll get that beautiful sparkle. And the Wink of Stella, as it dries, you get even more sparkle. So that's the silver. And then just with my white pastel pencil, which I've got on the floor, I'm just going to add some little white highlights. So one to my little heart there. And then a couple just, just to near. And what I do want to do as well is just add some little flicks of water for our faux bleach. And so I'm going to cover that moon up. And it's really in this area over here, just to add a little bit more interest. I like my stencil work, but I just want a little bit more interest. Now, again, if you want your flow, 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 flow bleaching, um, if you're worried it's going to, if it's too wet, just use your kitchen towel and give it a dab. Struggling with my words today. And what I tend to do is look at it and look, I think, yeah, that's enough. Because I, I don't want it white. I just want that extra bit of pattern in the background. So if I give that just a gentle dry. Happy with that so far. What I do want to do is just almost to bring a little bit more brightness in. I'm going to come in with the um, glaze, the jelly roll glaze. And this is the yellow. And I'm just going to add some spar more sparkle and I just thought on the lovely fronds here look and then on near and I know you're going to ask about the wing I've got a plan for that I know I can hear some of you saying so what I've done with the wing because the flower is almost going through the wing I've stamped the wing already cut it out and coloured it with my lovely um, aquarelle pencils so in a bit of wink of colour in so I've used my clear wink of Stella and I'm just going to decoupage that but I just thought with these flowers now again I've done a few designs actually leaving the flowers black and white and you know they look stunning but we just want to add a few little highlights I think when you're doing a design, you sort of suddenly decide how much colour. And sometimes you do change as you go in, don't you? So here, look, I've got the lovely little wing, which I've just coloured. And I know you're going to ask me, in the pencils I used, I went in the end for number three and number 21. Because as I say, the stem just for me looked a little bit wrong with the wing. And I want it flat because, again, I'm conscious with my calendar. I don't want it too raised. Um, last year I made the mistake of decoupaging quite thickly and I found it almost added... Um, it wasn't easy then when I was doing pages after. It was uneven. So, bippity-boppity glue. So this one I just want to put flat. And I'm just going to pop that on there. And again, the bippity-boppity glue gives you that little bit of wiggle time. And then I'm just going to come in with my heat tool. Just where we did that full bleaching. That's a little bit of glue on there. Just to speed that up. And also, it just helps that low-tack tape. And it's quite funny that I just need to add some white Posca splats look and my white Posca pens brought itself in view, making sure I don't forget. Now again, you could leave this off. Now actually, I was going to add white, but I'm going to change my mind. On my original, I've added white, but I'm thinking I'm going to go for the gold sparkle, I think, because of this. 
<laughs> I don't know about you, but I do that all the time. So I'm going to come in. Now, I want them all over. If you don't want them near where the moon is, pop your moon mask back on. Just think with using that gel pen. I love this. Carl can always, he's got an office upstairs and if he's in his office, he always says, oh, I can hear you. I know what you're doing. Eric used to look up. Now he just sleeps through. I think he's so used to the Posca. Right, so let's have a, a little reveal. Last one. And we can take this from underneath. So as you can see on this, I've got my stencil work behind and I wanted to make almost the continuity of the design. So my stencil work flows all the way down to near there. So my last little thing for this is I want to add on my original, I was thinking if this was a card, I love the verse fairy wishes and angel kisses. But in my calendar, I've been using my sticker stencils. So I think if we look at last month, and I'll very quickly just remind you. So last month, I've got Living Harmony, which I thought was lovely with our lovely bees and florals. So I'm thinking this one. I could put Believe in Yourself because I think she needs to believe that she can get that heart. So I'm just going to pop it on my scissors, just, you see, I quite like it there, but I want something in there. Well, I do like it there. I could have a, right, I'm going to make a decision and I'm going to put this one here. Believe in yourself. I like that, but I do want something up here. So what I'm thinking is somewhere I saw look up. And I'm thinking she is looking up, isn't she? So I'm thinking I'm going to have look up there. And I need a third just there. So let me quickly think. Um, it's always, you know, I love when I do my, um, when I'm balanced, balance is a good one. She's definitely balancing. Or ponder. I'm going to go ponder, I think. Um, when I'm demonstrating, I often get the uh, crafters to choose which sentiment we're putting on. Because as you know, it does take me too long. Look up and ponder, I think. And then believe in yourself. So that's our lovely April page. And for me, I think that's just the right amount of colour. I really like leaving these. The detail is just amazing. And as I say, should you wish to create a card or a scrapbook or a journal design? Now, you know I'm going to struggle getting all this on here. I'm just going to pop that there. So thank you for popping in. And I can't wait to see your inspiration. So for April... Are you going to use Nia or are you going to go seasonal? Oh, the choice is yours. Or are you just going to make a story? I mean, your calendar could be a story. You could choose either Pippin or, you know, and actually have a different, almost like you're going through a story each, each month. Now, that's a fabulous idea. Honestly, once you start creating with these, your mind will just be like mine and just buzzing with all these ideas. So thanks for popping in. I'll see you again tomorrow. Something again lovely for tomorrow. So you take care. Have a lovely evening. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.